Tyler Gregory Okama, born March 6, 1991, known professionally as Tyler, the creator, is an American rapper, record producer, director, and fashion designer. He has been cited as an influential figure in alternative hip-hop during the 2010s. Okama became well-known in the late 2000s, when he emerged on the internet as the leader and co-founder of the music collective Odd Future. Within the group, Okama participated as a rapper, producer, director and actor, releasing studio albums that he produced for its respective members. Okama also performed on his sketch comedy show Loiter Squad, 2012-2014. Along with his collaborations with the group, Okama developed his solo career beginning with his self-release debut mixtape Bastard, 2009. Bastard earned him recognition in the online music press as an emerging artist from the indie music scene. His debut studio album, Goblin, 2011, brought him mainstream media exposure, aided by the popularity of the single Yonkers and its accompanying music video. During this period, Okama faced controversy in the media for his horrorcore-influenced sound and his violent, transgressive lyrical content. After the release of his second studio album, Wolf, 2013, Okama began to separate himself from his horrorcore productions, turning to more accessible sounds including fusions of jazz, soul, and R&B. In 2017, Okama released Flower Boy, followed by subsequent albums Igor, 2019, and Call Me If You Get Lost, 2021, all of which earned him widespread critical acclaim and commercial success, with the latter two albums debuting at number one on the Billboard 200 and each winning Best Rap Album at the 2020 and 2022 Grammy Awards, respectively. His seventh studio album Chromacopia was released on October 28, 2024. Aside from his musical productions, Okama became a significant figure in fashion with his clothing ventures Golf Wong and Le Fleur, and for his collaborations with major brands such as Lacoste, Converse and Louis Vuitton. Okama is also the founder of the Camp Flog Na Carnival Music Festival, which has been held annually since 2012, and which featured appearances by Kanye West, Drake, Kendrick Lamar, Lana Del Rey, and Billie Eilish, among others. He has also directed all of the music and promotional videos of his career under the pseudonym Wolf Haley. Okama has won two Grammy Awards, three BT Hip Hop Awards, a Brit Award, and an MTV Video Music Award. In 2019, he was named Music Innovator of the Year by the Wall Street Journal. In 2024, the Los Angeles Times featured Okama in its LA Influential series as a creator who is leaving their mark in Los Angeles. Early Life and Education Tyler Gregory Okama, 11, was born on March 6, 1991, in Hawthorne, California, the son of a Nigerian father with Igbo ancestry and an American mother of mixed African-American and white Canadian descent. He never met his father and spent his early life living in Hawthorne, moving to Ladera Heights at 17. At the age of seven, he would take covers out of CD cases and create covers for his own imaginary albums including a tracklist with song links before he could even make music. At the age of 14, he taught himself to play the piano. In his 12 years of schooling, he attended 12 different schools in the Los Angeles and Sacramento areas. In the eighth grade, Okama joined a drama class and was kicked out for being too hyperactive, and in the ninth grade, he was not allowed to join the band class because he could not read music. He worked at FedEx for under two weeks and at Starbucks for over two years. Okama took his stage name from a MySpace page he used to post his creative endeavors. When Okama was 15, he had a YouTube channel named Blockshead. His first YouTube video was released on February 28, 2008. He posted videos until October 2009, when he stopped uploading to focus on his mixtape, Bastard. Career 2007 to 2011, Odd Future, Bastard, and Goblin Okama In April 2011, Okama co founded the alternative hip hop collective Odd Future in 2007, alongside Haji, Left Brain, and Casey Veggies. They self released their debut mixtape, The Odd Future Tape, in November 2008. On December 25, 2009, Okama self released his first solo mixtape, Bastard. The mixtape was eventually ranked 32nd on Pitchfork Media's list of the top albums of 2010. On February 11, 2011, Okama released the music video for Yonkers. 
The video received attention from several online media outlets, an extended version with a third verse was made available on iTunes, Okama won Best New Artist for Yonkers at the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards, Okama's thematic content in these first two solo projects led fans and publications alike to categorize him in the horrorcore scene. Although he vehemently rejected his connection with it, in early 2011, Okama was gaining the interest of a number of figures in the music industry including Steve Rifkind, Jimmy Iovine, Rick Ross and Jay-Z, Okama and the rest of Odd Future eventually signed a deal with Red Distribution slash Sony in April 2011. His debut studio album, Goblin, was released May 10, 2011. Okama and fellow Odd Future member Haji Beats made their television debut on February 16, 2011. When they performed Sandwiches on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, on March 16, Okama and Haji performed Yonkers and Sandwiches at the 2011 MTV Woody Awards, being joined by other members of Odd Future during Sandwiches. During an interview with Okama for Interview, Waka Flocka Flame expressed his interest in collaborating with the Odd Future frontman to direct a music video for him. In early 2011, Okama told fans through his Formspring account that his second album would be called Wolf and it was scheduled to be released in May 2012. Okama also announced that Odd Future would establish their own TV show called Loiter Squad. On September 8, 2011, the show was finally confirmed as a 15-minute live-action show composed of various sketches, man-on-the-street segments, pranks and music made by Odd Future. Dick House Productions, the production partnership that created Jackass, was scheduled to produce the show. 2012 to 2014, Wolf and Loiter Squad TV show Odd Future's television show Loiter Squad premiered on Adult Swim on March 25, 2012. The show ran for three seasons and featured guest appearances from celebrities, including Johnny Knoxville, Lil Wayne, and Seth Rogen. In 2015, Okama stated that the show is no more. On February 14, 2013, Odd Future uploaded a video to their YouTube account, which includes Elboy skydiving and stating that Wolf would be released on April 2, 2013. The same day, Okama would reveal the three album covers via his Instagram account. In promotion of Wolf, Okama performed several guest verses for other artists, notably Trouble on My Mind by good music artist Pusha T, Martians vs. Goblins by The Game, also featuring Lil Wayne, I'm a Hada by DJ Drama, also featuring Waka Flocka Flame and Debo. The title track from fellow Odd Future member Domo Genesis collaboration album with The Alchemist, No Idols, and Blossom and Burn by Trash. Talk, also featuring Haji Beats. Okama also co-produced the song 666 from Mellow Hype's third album Numbers, which featured Mike G. Through March and April 2013, Okama toured North America and Europe. The first single from the album was released on February 14, 2013, titled Domo 23 along with the music video which features cameos from Domo Genesis, Earl Sweatshirt, Jasper Dolphin and Taco Bennett, on February 26, 2013. Okama performed the songs Domo 23 and Tree Home 95 on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Wolf was released on April 2, 2013, by Odd Future Records and Red Distribution under Sony Music Entertainment. It featured guest appearances by Frank Ocean, Mike G., Domo Genesis, Earl Sweatshirt, Left Brain, Haji Beats, Pharrell, Casey Veggies and Erica Badu. The album was produced solely by Okama, except for the final track Loan. Along with the lead single Domo 23, music videos were filmed for Bimmer, IFHY and Jamba. Upon release, the album was met with generally positive reviews and debuted at number 3 on the Billboard 200, selling 90,000 copies in its first week. Citation needed. On January 31, 2014, Okama was reported to be recording with Mac DeMarco. 2015 to 2016, Cherry Bomb on April 9, 2015, Okama released the music video for the song Fucking Young to Odd Future's official YouTube channel. The video also included a short snippet of another song, Death Camp. Okama announced on the same day that the songs will be featured on his upcoming album Cherry Bomb, set for release on April 13, 2015. Okama announced via his Twitter account that the album would feature Charlie Wilson, Chaz Bundick, and Black Lips member Cole Alexander. Two days later, 
Okama performed the songs Fucking Young and Death Camp for the first time at Coachella. During the set, Okama notably criticized VIP members in the audience, of which many were celebrities, for their lack of enthusiasm. Cherry Bomb was released digitally on April 13, 2015, through Odd Future Records, with physical copies of the album, featuring five different album covers, set to be released on April 28, 2015. The album features performances from notable artists such as Kanye West, Lil Wayne, and Schoolboy Q. The album was supported by a world tour through North America, Europe, and Asia, beginning at Coachella Festival on April 11, 2015, and ending in Tokyo, Japan in September 2015. Okama cancelled the Australian leg of his Cherry Bomb World Tour following a campaign by the grassroots organization Collective Shout to bar him from returning to Australia due to their opinion that his music promotes and glorifies violence against women. On August 26, 2015, Okama revealed that he had been banned from visiting the United Kingdom for three to five years, which forced him to cancel a string of tour dates supporting the Cherry Bomb album, including the Reading and Leeds festivals. The reason for the ban comes from lyrics dating back to 2009. His manager Christian Clancy said they were informed of the ban via a letter from then-home secretary Theresa May. May cited lyrics from the mixtape Bastard as the reason for the ban, although Okama had toured multiple times in the UK since its release. Okama later claimed that he felt he had been treated like a terrorist and implied that the ban was racially motivated, stating that they did not like the fact that their children were idolizing a black man. 2017 to 2018, Flower Boy, Television, and WANG Dollar AP on April 8, 2017. Frank Ocean released a song titled Biking on His Beats One Radio Station Blonde Radio, which features both Tyler, the creator, and Jay-Z. Eight days later it was announced Okama would write, produce, and perform the theme song for scientist Bill Nye's new show, Bill Nye Saves the World. On June 28, the trailer for Okama's TV show Nuts Plus Bolts premiered on Viceland. The show focuses on things Tyler, the creator, finds interesting or is passionate about, and explains how they are created. The series premiered on August 3, 2017. On June 29, 2017, Okama released the song Who Dat Boy featuring ASAP Rocky on a new YouTube channel, following many promotional countdown posts on his social media accounts. Later that night, he released the song on streaming services alongside a new song titled 911 Mr. Lonely featuring Steve Lacey, Frank Ocean, and Anna of the North. On July 6, 2017, he announced the title, tracklist, and release date of his fourth album, Flower Boy, which was released on July 21, 2017. Several singles were released following up to the album's release date, including Boredom and I Ain't Got Time. The album was released via iTunes, Spotify, and other major music services. On September 14, 2017, Tyler, the creator, announced his third TV show to date, The Jellies. It premiered on October 22, 2017. Flower Boy received rave reviews from critics and was nominated for Best Rap Album at the 60th Annual Grammy Awards, giving Okama his second Grammy nomination after contributing to 2013 Album of the Year nominee Channel Orange, but was beat out by Kendrick Lamar's fourth studio album Damn. On March 29, 2018, Okama released Okra Kama, among a string of freestyles and remixes. Okama referred to it as a throwaway song, comma, stating that it was not going to be included on any upcoming album and was not an indication of the sound of any future projects. On May 22, 2018, he released 435, comma, continuing the string of singles. On July 23, 2018, Okama and ASAP Rocky announced a collaborative project, WANG Dollar AP, by releasing a music video for a remix of Monica's Knock Knock called Potato Salad on AWG DVD, Volume 3, a video compilation by AWG ASAP Rocky's creative agency, 2019 to 2023. Igor and Call Me If You Get Lost on May 6, 2019, Okama released two short video clips on his online profiles which featured new music. The videos showed him dancing erratically while wearing a long blonde wig, multicolored suit, black sunglasses, and a grill. He donned the same style for pictures on his social media and the music videos for the album's singles. 
He soon announced his fifth studio album, Igor, which was released on May 17. Igor was met with widespread critical acclaim and debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200, becoming Okama's first number one album in the United States. The album also features the song Earthquake, which peaked at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100 on December 23, 2019. Okama released two songs, Best Interest, a song that did not make the cut of Igor that was released with a music video, and Group B. On January 26, 2020, Okama won his first-ever Grammy at the 62nd Grammy Awards, winning Best Rap Album for Igor. Okama admitted that while he was very grateful for his win, the categorizing of his music as rap is a backhanded compliment. It sucks that whenever we, and I mean guys that look like me, do anything that's genre-bending or that's anything they always put it in a rap or urban category. I don't like that urban word, it's just a politically correct way to say the n-word to me, he said. He also added that he would love to be recognized on a more mainstream level and not forever pigeonholed in urban categories. Okama as Cornell on the Showtime comedy drama series Kidding, 2020 for his sixth studio album, Call Me If You Get Lost, Okama placed billboards in major cities across the world containing a phone number that when called, played a recorded conversation between Okama and his mother. That recording is included in the album as Mama Talk. Soon after the billboards were spotted, a website of the same name was discovered. The album's lead single, Lumberjack, was released on June 16. The following day, Okama revealed the album's cover and confirmed its release date of June 25. Upon release, it received widespread critical acclaim and debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200, becoming Okama's second number one album in the United States. On January 5, 2022, Tyler, the creator, was announced as a headliner of Louisville's Folksal Festival scheduled for May 27 to 29, 2022. Louis Vuitton's Men's Fall Winter 2022 fashion show, held at Corot du Temple, Paris was one of the last shows put together by the late fashion designer and Louis Vuitton creative director Virgil Abloh. This show was scored by Tyler, the creator. His score was arranged by Arthur Vero Kai and it was Gustavo Dudamel who conducted the live performance by the Chinique Orchestra. On March 25, 2022, Okama appeared on two tracks off Nigo's album I Know Nigo, the opening track Lost and Found Freestyle 2019 with ASAP Rocky, and the closer, Come On, Let's Go, the latter of which was released along with a music video showcasing Tyler's Golf Lefleur Astra's clothing line, Call Me If You Get Lost won the award for Best Rap Album at the 64th Grammy Awards. On March 27, 2023, Okama revealed Call Me If You Get Lost, the estate sale, which would include songs recorded for Call Me If You Get Lost but did not appear on the final album, including the single Dogtooth, which was released on the day of the announcement, alongside a music video. On Twitter, Okama stated that Call Me If You Get Lost was the first album I made with a lot of songs that didn't make the final cut. Dot. On March 29, 2023, another single Sorry Not Sorry was released. Alongside a music video, the estate sale was released on March 31, 2023, along with a music video for the song Wharf Talk. 2024 present, Chromacopia on April 13, 2024, Okama performed a headliner set at Coachella, closing out Saturday night with a performance that included guest appearances from Childish Gambino, ASAP Rocky and Kali Uchis along with a duet of Earthquake with Charlie Wilson, he began the set bursting through the wall of a fake trailer using pyrotechnics, before performing tracks from across his discography. Critics labeled the performance as an exhilarating, high-stakes spectacle, comma, and a brilliant reminder of a cult hero's power. Dot. On October 16, 2024, Okama revealed the name of his next album as Chromacopia in a teaser video titled Saint Chroma. On October 21, Okama released the single, Noid. The album was released on October 28. Artistry Pharrell Williams has been one of the greatest inspirations and references for Okama. Okama's music has been described as alternative hip-hop, hip-hop, neo-soul, West Coast hip-hop, jazz rap, and hardcore hip-hop, while his early music has been described as horrorcore. 
when Okanma emerged on the music scene as a strange figure of the internet and one of the leaders of the music collective Odd Future, his musical productions instinctively became noted for resembling those of Pharrell Williams and his works in NERD and the Neptunes during the 2000s, which Okanma has referenced as his greatest inspirations and references. The horrorcore-based aesthetics and transgressive lyrical content of his debut mixtape Bastard and his debut studio album Goblin were Influenced by Eminem, especially his album Relapse, 2009, which according to Okama, is one of his favorites, when asked about the reason for his offensive content in his lyrics, Okama responded that they are not offensive and that I just like to piss off old white dudes. The nihilistic and dark aesthetic of his early work was heavily criticized in online music communities for including lyrics in which he talked about rape and murder. The music video for Yonkers, which featured Okama eating a cockroach and committing suicide at the end, attracted controversy in the media, as well as being posted by Kanye West on his Twitter account, calling it the video of 2011. As the de facto leader of Odd Future during the early 2010s, the group quickly gained notable attention from the media and the internet, comparing them to the Wu-Tang Clan for their rebellious attitude and refusal to fall within industry standards. However, Okama quickly denied these comparisons, we are in a completely different thing to The group's DIY approach made a strong impact on hip-hop, releasing music and content whenever they wanted through unconventional platforms such as YouTube, Tumblr or MySpace, influencing artists to take an alternative path in building their careers. The group in Okama also influenced fashion, beginning to popularize urban clothing under the streetwear Supreme and Converse brands, in addition to their own brand Golf Wong with its striking colorful aesthetic. Okama also brought a new wave of attention to skateboarding and biking as he was constantly seen riding a BMX or skateboard around Los Angeles. Several members of the group, such as Frank Ocean and Earl Sweatshirt, would go on to have successful musical careers, while alternative groups such as The Internet, led by Sid and Steve Lacey, would spawn. Okama in September 2012 from the release of his second studio album Wolf, critics noticed a musical change in Okama's productions, venturing into more accessible and melodic sounds through fusions of jazz, R&B and soul, including collaborations with artists from those genres such as Erica Badu, Charlie Wilson or Frank Ocean. He also took a more intimate approach in his lyrics, talking about his father's abandonment in the song Answer. However, his next release, Cherry Bomb, had a mixed reception from fans and critics for its experimental production, in which Okama decided to create only songs without any connection between them, with a more aggressive and noisy aesthetic. The medium would write in an analysis that, Cherry Bomb, is the album that signaled this change and would pave the way for his follow-ups Flower Boy and Igor to build upon, in terms of Tyler's style of production and lyricism. Around this time, Okama would indefinitely step away from his responsibilities with Odd Future, signing with the record label Columbia Records. Okama's fourth album, Flower Boy, marked the beginning of a new era a complete departure from the wildly offensive lyrics and dark themes that defined his previous works. Igor, Okama's first Grammy-winning album, was a deeply personal concept album about the emotional journey of being the odd man out in a love triangle, comma, while Call Me If You Get Lost, his second Grammy-winning album was a concept album about the persona of Tyler Baudelaire, a suave, well-traveled gentleman with a sophisticated taste for high art. This latest trilogy established Okama as one of the most acclaimed and highest-rated artists of his generation and decade. During his acceptance of the Cultural Influence Award at the BET Awards, Okama thanked Q-Tip, Andre 3000, Chad Hugo, Kanye West, Missy Elliott, Busta Rhymes, and Hype Williams as his influences, in addition to music. Okama also established himself in the fashion industry with Golf Le Fleur, a high-end luxury line described to embody the globe-trotting mice and scene of his latest album Call Me If You Get Lost. Personal Life Okama has been an avid skateboarder since 2002 and collects BMX bicycles. He identifies as an atheist. Okama has asthma and has been seen using an inhaler while on stage. For this reason, he follows a straight-edge lifestyle. Sexuality Okama has been the subject of speculation regarding his sexuality and has made numerous direct references in lyrics and interviews to having had same-sex relationships or experiencing same-sex attractions. 
He described himself in a 2015 Rolling Stone interview as gay as fuck and said my friends are so used to me being gay. They don't even care. In 2017, during an interview with Noisy, Okama said that by age 15 he already had a boyfriend. In a 2018 interview with Fantastic Man, while discussing the Flower Boy lyric I've been kissing white boys since 2004 and the public response to it, Okama said it's still such a gray area with people, which is cool with me. Even though I'm considered loud and out there, I'm private, which is a weird dichotomy. Igor follows what many interpreted to be a romantic relationship between Okama and a closeted bisexual man, while the song Will Share on Call Me If You Get Lost has the lyric I could fuck a trillion bitches every country I done been in slash men or women, it don't matter, if I seen M, then I had M. The song Sorry Not Sorry from the deluxe version of the album includes the lyric Sorry to the guys I had to hide slash sorry to the girls I had to lie to, referring to his hiding male lovers from the public. Okama has been criticized for his use of homophobic slurs, particularly his frequent use of the epithet faggot in his lyrics and on Twitter. He has denied accusations of homophobia, stating, I'm not homophobic. I just say faggot and use gay as an adjective to describe stupid shit, and I'm not homophobic. I just think faggot hits and hurts people. However, he later said in an interview with MTV, well, I have gay fans and they don't really take it offensive, so I don't know. If it offends you, it offends you. If you call me a nigger, I really don't care, but that's just me, personally. Some people might take it the other way. I personally don't give a shit. Okama supported fellow Odd Future member Frank Ocean after Ocean publicly revealed a past relationship with another man. Lyrics on the album Flower Boy led to speculation that Okama was coming out as gay. The tracks in question were Forward, Garden Shad, and I Ain't Got Time. Legal Issues on December 22. 2011, Okama was arrested on suspicion of vandalism after allegedly destroying equipment during a show at the Roxy Theater in West Hollywood. Fan-recorded video depicted Okama throwing a microphone at a sound engineer. Okama subsequently paid $8,000 in damages to the Roxy. On March 15, 2014, Okama was arrested in Austin, Texas, for inciting a riot after telling fans to push past security guards at his South by Southwest performance. Okama faced up to one year in prison and a $4,000 fine. Okama's lawyer, Perry Minton, argued that the riot charge was overblown and perpetuated misconceptions of his client, who had no criminal record. The charges were later dropped. On August 26, 2015, Okama revealed that he had been banned from visiting the United Kingdom for three to five years, which forced him to cancel tour dates supporting the Cherry Bomb album, including the Reading and Leeds festivals. His manager Christian Clancy said they were informed of the ban via a letter from then-home secretary Theresa May. May cited lyrics from the 2009 mixtape Bastard as the reason for the ban, although Okama had toured multiple times in the UK since its release. Okama later said that he felt he had been treated like a terrorist and implied that the ban was racially motivated, stating that they did not like the fact that their children were idolizing a black man. According to the BBC, it is believed the ban was lifted in February 2019, concurring with a scheduled performance in London to promote Igor. However, the 2019 show was forcibly cancelled by police due to safety concerns that the venue was overcrowded and too rowdy. After winning International Male Solo Artist at the 2020 Brit Awards, Okanma referenced the ban. I want to give a special shout out to someone who I hold dear to my heart, who made it where I couldn't come to this country five years ago, he said. I know she's at home pissed off. Thank you, Theresa May. Feuds Eminem on August 31st. 2018, Eminem's single Fall called Okama a faggot and claimed Okama explored sexuality in his music for more attention. Eminem also attacked Okama for being critical of his single Walk on Water and Shady 15, 2014. Dot. After receiving backlash for his lyrics, Eminem responded in an interview with Sway, saying, I think the word that I called him was one of the things where I felt like this might be too far. In my quest to hurt him, I realized I was hurting a lot of other people. It was one of the things that I kept going back to. Not feeling right with this. 
In an interview with The Guardian, Okama responded, saying, the fall line, was okay. Did you ever hear me publicly say anything about that? I knew what the intent was. He felt pressured because people got offended for me. We were playing Grand Theft Auto when we heard it. We rewound it and shrugged. Then kept playing. DJ Khaled in June 2019, after Igor debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 over DJ Khaled's album Father of Assad, DJ Khaled posted a video on Instagram, criticizing Okama's music saying, I make albums so people can play it and you actually hear it. If, driving your car, you hear another car playing it, go to the barber shop, you hear them playing it, and, turn the radio on, and you hear them playing it. It's called great music. It's called albums, where, you actually hear the songs. Not no mysterious shit you never hear the songs. He then deleted the video. On August 6, 2021, Okama spoke about the DJ Khaled controversy on Hot 97, stating that he enjoyed just watching a man die inside because the weirdo is winning. He claimed that DJ Khaled had to deal with that because his whole identity is being number one and when he didn't get that, that sat with him longer in real lifetime than that moment. I moved on. Okama made multiple references to mysterious music on Twitter, writing mysterious music. H.A., after winning Best Rap Album at the 2022 Grammy Awards for Call Me If You Get Lost. Rolling Stone reported in a November 7, 2023 feature story about DJ Khaled that he had expressed interest in collaborating with Tyler, the creator, and that he asserted they now have a good rapport. Discography Studio Albums Goblin, 2011, Wolf, 2013, Cherry Bomb, 2015, Flower Boy, 2017, Igor, 2019, Call Me If You Get Lost, 2021, Chromacopia, 2024, Tours Headlining Wolf Tour, 2013, 2014 Tour, 2014, Cherry Bomb Tour, 2015, Okaga, CA Tour, 2016, Flower Boy Tour, 2017 to 2018, Igor Tour, 2019, Call Me If You Get Lost Tour, 2022, Chromacopia, The World Tour, 2025, Co Headlining Rocky and Tyler Tour, with ASAP Rocky, 2015, Supporting Kid Cudi Cud Life Tour, 2013.